I wrote the book to honor my daddy and my grandmother and to tell their story. And it isn't their story, it's fiction. But the story, the essence of the story honors his memory because I lost him this time last year. And so he will, his story and his little town and his little community and the love and the family and the relationships that those people had in that little town will live forever because of Stella by Stella. For sure. And I think that's why the story was so powerful. You could feel that you were writing from your heart. I think that makes a difference. It's one thing to write a book from from just just plot. But when you write a book that has meaning, and my father kept saying to me, write my mother's story. Write my mother's story. And I said, okay, daddy, okay, daddy, I'm busy. I gotta do this, I'm writing another one. And so it's, I have my grandmother's journal. Before she passed away, the journal that she used to write in before she, um, when she was a little girl, she was the writer in the family. She wrote in pencil, in a school notebook. And I have that notebook. And there are very few words from that notebook that are in Stella by Starlight. But it's the essence and the spirit of a little girl who went outside at night to write, who had that desire to write something down. And so it's her essence, it's her spirit, and I think she knows, and I think my dad knows. Did your dad get to see the book? The, the hardback copy of the book came to my house the day we came home from his funeral. Oh. So he didn't get to see it, but I did I tell him. I did tell him. I said, Daddy, I I did tell it. Yeah. Oh, you're 